The Precambrian Era, the longest of Earth's eons, spans from the formation of the planet 4.6 billion years ago to the dawn of complex life 541 million years ago. This vast stretch of time encompasses three eons, the Hadean, Archean, and Proterozoic. To put it into perspective, if the Earth's history were compressed into a single day, the Precambrian would last until 9.08 pm, leaving just a few hours for the rest of Earth's history. Hadean Eon The Hadean Eon, named after the Greek underworld Hades, was a hellish period characterized by frequent asteroid impacts, intense volcanism, and a largely molten surface. The Earth's crust began to form, and the planet's atmosphere was a toxic mixture of carbon dioxide, water vapor, and other gases. If you think your morning commute is rough, imagine dodging asteroids and choking on noxious fumes just to get to work. Archean Eon As the Earth cooled during the Archean Eon, the first continents emerged, and the atmosphere became less hostile. Simple, single-celled organisms called prokaryotes, such as bacteria and archaea, appeared and began to thrive in the oceans. These early life forms relied on chemical energy, rather than sunlight for sustenance. They were the original foodies, but their menu was limited to a variety of chemicals. Proterozoic Eon The Proterozoic Eon saw the rise of more complex life forms, including eukaryotic cells with distinct nuclei and organelles. Oxygen began to accumulate in the atmosphere due to the photosynthetic activity of cyanobacteria, paving the way for the evolution of aerobic organisms. Multicellular life emerged in the form of algae and early animals. You could say that the Proterozoic was when life decided to get its act together and start cooperating. Paleozoic Era the Paleozoic Era, spanning from 541 to 252 million years ago, witnessed an explosion of life in the oceans and the colonization of land by plants and animals. This era is divided into six periods, the Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, and Permian. If the Precambrian was the opening act, the Paleozoic was when the main event began. Cambrian Period The Cambrian Period is marked by the Cambrian Explosion, a rapid diversification of animal life. Hard-bodied creatures like trilobites and brachiopods dominated the seas, while the first vertebrates, jawless fish, appeared. The period ended with a mass extinction event. It's like the Cambrian was a wild party that got a little out of hand, and the bouncer had to come in and clear the room. Ordovician Period during the Ordovician period, marine life continued to flourish, with the evolution of the first jawless fish and the appearance of the first primitive land plants. The period concluded with another mass extinction, possibly due to a global cooling event. The Ordovician was like a cold shower that put an end to the Cambrian party. Silurian period the Silurian period saw the further evolution of jawed fish and the diversification of land plants, including the first vascular plants. Arthropods, such as scorpions and millipedes, began to venture onto land. It was like nature saying, hey, let's try this land thing and see what happens. Devonian period The Devonian period, often called the Age of Fishes, was characterized by the dominance of fish including the first lobe-finned fish that would eventually give rise to tetrapods. Land plants continued to diversify, forming the first forests. If fish had social media, their profiles would have been popping during the Devonian. Carboniferous Period The Carboniferous Period is known for its vast coal swamps, formed by the burial of dense vegetation in oxygen-rich environments. Insects and amphibians thrived on land, while sharks and bony fish ruled the seas. The Carboniferous was like a green energy initiative that went a bit overboard. Permian Period The Permian Period saw the formation of the supercontinent Pangaea and the evolution of the first true reptiles. The period ended with the most severe mass extinction in Earth's history, the Permian-Triassic Extinction Event, which wiped out an estimated 96% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species. Talk about a game over scenario. Mesozoic Era The Mesozoic Era, lasting from 252 to 66 million years ago, is often referred to as the Age of Reptiles. 
this era is divided into three periods, the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. If the Earth had a reptile club, this would have been its heyday. Triassic Period The Triassic Period saw the recovery of life after the Permian-Triassic extinction. Reptiles, including the first dinosaurs and flying pterosaurs, emerged and began to dominate the land. Marine reptiles such as ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs adapted to life in the oceans. The Triassic was like a fresh start for life on Earth, with reptiles leading the charge. Jurassic Period During the Jurassic Period, dinosaurs reached their peak diversity with iconic species like Stegosaurus and Brachiosaurus roaming the Earth. The first birds, such as Archaeopteryx, evolved from small feathered dinosaurs. In the oceans, giant marine reptiles like pliosaurs hunted ammonites and fish. If dinosaurs had a golden age, the Jurassic would have been it. Cretaceous Period The Cretaceous Period witnessed the continued dominance of dinosaurs, with the evolution of famous species like Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops. Flowering plants, angiosperms, appeared and rapidly diversified. The period ended with the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event, caused by a massive asteroid impact that wiped out the non avian dinosaurs and many other species. It was like the ultimate plot twist in Earth's history. Cenozoic Era The Cenozoic Era, spanning from 66 million years ago to the present day, is the Age of Mammals. This era is divided into three periods the Paleogene, Neogene, and Quaternary. With the dinosaurs out of the picture, mammals were ready for their close-up. Paleogene Period In the wake of the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction, mammals began to diversify and fill ecological niches left vacant by the dinosaurs. Primitive primates, including the ancestors of modern monkeys, apes, and humans, appeared during the Paleogene. It was like a mammal makeover for the planet. Neogene Period the Neogene period saw the continued evolution and diversification of mammals, with the emergence of recognizable species like horses, cats, and dogs. The period also witnessed significant global cooling and the growth of grasslands. If Earth had a home makeover show, the Neogene would have been the before picture. Quaternary Period The Quaternary Period, which began 2.6 million years ago and continues to the present, is characterized by the cyclical growth and retreat of continental ice sheets. Early humans, belonging to the genus Homo, evolved in Africa and began to spread across the globe. The period also saw the extinction of many large mammals, such as woolly mammoths and saber-toothed cats, during the late Pleistocene. The Quaternary is like Earth's current events, and we're all living through it. Throughout these prehistoric eras, the Earth underwent profound changes from the hellish landscape of the Hadean to the Ice Age environments of the Quaternary. Life evolved from simple, single-celled organisms to the incredible diversity we see today, adapting to the ever-changing conditions of our dynamic planet. By studying the prehistoric past, we gain a deeper understanding of the processes that have shaped life on Earth and our own place in the grand story of evolution. So the next time you're feeling overwhelmed by the challenges of modern life, just remember, at least you're not dodging asteroids or running from saber-toothed cats.